In the mid-1990s, when Magnifico left the band Uredo, with whom he had recorded two albums, he released his single, Gdoja Cefur, literally overnight. His new image, which included a halfway unbuttoned shirt, a thick gold chain around his neck and a leather jacket, together with the lyrics of his songs, were a good indication of the direction his solo career was about to take. There were few who remained indifferent. Artists from the East, we are easier to get. We have a kind of fresh energy that few people have heard or felt. We are modern, which is our greatest advantage. And we are lucky too. But his journey to the musical stages of European capitals was anything but short. In a decade-long solo career, he has released six albums and countless hits. As a pop music and Eurovision Song Contest aficionado, he tried his hand in this genre as well. Although he didn't win the national finals, his song Silvia became the most played radio song in Slovenia in 1998. <laughs> His dreams did come true four years later, when he wrote the music for a transvestite group, Sestre, who won the national finals and went on to perform at the International Eurovision Song Contest. Weeks after the event, he would be stopped in the street by gay activists, thanking him for championing their cause. What appeared problematic was the lyrics for my songs, Ubi Chutea. Land of Champions, uh, land of champions and Kosovo Fields forever. forever. People thought I was Milosevic's Serbian Chetnik spy. They didn't find it funny. Where we laughed, no one else laughed but us. In 2003, he surprised everyone with a new album entitled Export Import. The single Here I Come, Here I Go from the album became a huge hit and quickly rose to the top of the music charts. His formula for success is rather simple. A pinch of polka music, a pinch of electronic music, simple but amusing lyrics and his recognizable charm. In Italy, the single ended up the ninth most played song. How this happened is something for a bad biography. Igor Arich, my business partner, said that he knows someone in Italy who knows someone at Sony and that he'd give him the recording. The next moment I forgot all about it because I simply didn't believe things worked this way. Well, in about two days, I received an email from Sony saying that they were really interested in Here I Come, Here I Go. That's how it all started. how it still is today when his concert performances from Ljubljana to Paris, Rome and London on the one hand and from Zagreb to Athens and Sofia on the other are sold out. His music is often labelled world music which is characterised by a diversity of genres that include not only the before mentioned Balkan themes but also elements of lively alpine songs and American country music. With Magnifico, world music had gained a new and fresh yet largely unconventional representative. Eight little, seven little, six little, make the noise. 